Alright, back again for another video. What do you think we should do first? Hmm... Should we pick our toes? No, that's yucky! You're right. We should do Calendar and Weather Watcher. Here we go! So this is time traveling Miss Abby who's putting the video together and just realized there's a whole section of this calendar time that Miss Haley is way out of frame. Ah! So that's a boo-boo that won't ever happen again. We should always check the footage. Anyway, I checked with Miss Haley and she said it was fine. So I guess just have fun watching her hand float in and out of frame. Miss Haley, what happened to our calendar? I don't know, what happened? There's nothing there. All the numbers went away. What does that mean? It must be a new month. I think Miss Haley's right. It is a new month today. Let's see, I wonder what comes after March. In order to find out what month comes after March, we need to sing our Months of the Year song. Are you ready, Miss Haley? Yes. All right. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Miss Haley, what month came after March in our song? April. Oh, good job. Can you move the red arrow for me, please? Now that we know what month it is, Miss Haley, you need to find the card that has the matching word on it. Do you think you can do that? I think so. Which of these cards says April? Do you think you can find it, Miss Haley? Is it this one? Because it starts with an A. Oh, but what's the second letter, Miss Haley? Oh, a U. Oh. oh. The second letter of April is what, Miss Haley? A oh, P. Which one has those? This one. Would you like to put it in the month pocket? Yes. <gasps> awesome! We did it! Yay! Do you remember what yesterday was, Miss Haley? I think it was Tuesday. I think Miss Haley is right. So then what does that make today? Well, Wednesday. Oh, great! Today is Wednesday and it's the first day of April. So, what does that mean our number is? Number one. Oh, that was so hard for Miss Haley to figure out, wasn't it, Miss Haley? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think Miss Haley's being silly. <laughs> so now I think we can say our date all together. Are you ready, Miss Haley? Yeah. All right. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday April 1st, 2020. Awesome. All right, here comes the Weather Watcher song. Weather watcher, weather watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell us what the weather's like. Tell us what the weather's like. Won't you please? Won't you please? All right, go check the weather. Tell me what it's like. Well, now that we know the date and what the weather is, I think we should sing another song. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. You wanna go faster? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. You wanna go really fast? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Whoa. The rest of the time that we're reading about the last week of Jesus, we're going to be using the Jesus Storybook Bible, which is one of Miss Abby's favorite Bibles. I know that the stories can be kind of long because there's a lot of words, but this Bible just says so many good and wonderful things, and I wanted to share them with you. All right, here we go. One night, Jesus went to dinner at an important leader's house. The important leader invited his important friends. They were all just sitting down to eat when a woman walked in. She was not invited, but everyone knew who she was. 
Who does she think she is? The guests whispered. How dare she? The woman was a big sinner, and everyone knew it. It was easy to see. After all, she had broken the rules and done bad things. The woman walked straight up to Jesus. She was carrying very expensive perfume. Now the thing about perfume back then was that it didn't come in bottles. It came in jars. And the jars were made out of precious stone, like alabaster. But here's the catch. The jars didn't have a lid or a stopper or anything. So the only way you got the perfume out was if you broke the jar. Once you broke the jar, that was it. You had no more. Most people didn't use perfume because it was too precious. They just kept it on a shelf and looked at it. So you see, this perfume was her most precious thing in all the world. It was her treasure. The woman knelt down before Jesus like he was a king. She held Jesus' feet in her hands and started to cry. Her tears fell onto Jesus' feet, washing them. She kissed his feet and dried them with her long, dark hair. And then she did something strange. She broke the jar and poured the perfume all over his feet. Everyone gasped. What a waste! Over someone's feet? Such expensive perfume! It smelled like lilies in a summer field. Jesus looked at the woman and he smiled at her. What she had done was the most wonderful thing. Just as Samuel had anointed David, God's true king, all those years before, so this woman had anointed Jesus, not with oil, but with her tears. The important people were cross. They thought Jesus should not be kind to this woman. That woman is a sinner, they grumbled. We're the good ones. And it's true. They did look good from the outside. After all, they were keeping all the rules. But Jesus could see inside people. And inside, in their hearts, Jesus saw that they did not love God or other people. They were running away from God, and they thought they didn't need a rescuer. They thought they were good enough because they kept the rules. But sin had stopped their hearts from working properly. And their hearts were hard and cold. This woman knows she's a sinner, Jesus told them. She knows she'll never be good enough. She knows she needs me to rescue her. That's why she loves me so much. You look down on this woman because you don't look up to God. She is sinful on the outside, but you are sinful on the inside. The important people shook with anger. Jesus turned to the woman and smiled. Your sins are forgiven, he said. You trusted me, and God has rescued you. Who does Jesus think he is? The important people whispered. Only God can forgive sins. They didn't believe Jesus was God's son. The more Jesus loved people and helped them, the more the important people and leaders hated him. They were afraid people would follow Jesus instead of them. They were jealous and angry. Angry enough to kill Jesus. Wow, that sounds very serious. That's because the Bible is serious. Or at least something we need to take very seriously. So now that we've read our story, I want you all to think. Think really hard about all the things that you may have done that were bad. If Miss Abby were to try to list all the things she's ever done that were bad, the list would never end. The two biggest things that the Bible wants us to know about when we do bad things is that, one, everybody does bad things, so no one is better than anyone else. We all fall short. And two, we do bad things because our hearts are broken. They don't work right. That's why we need Jesus. We need his forgiveness. 
Now, forgiveness is a really big word, and it's hard sometimes for even grown-ups to understand. Next week, I have a really cool thing planned that's going to be visual, so hopefully it'll make it easier. I want to take a quick minute to remind you of the story we read about the man who sold all his things just to get the treasure. Do you remember that story? That was kind of a big deal, trying to think about selling all of our most precious things. But that's kind of like what the woman did in the story. That perfume probably cost her a whole year's worth of money that she'd worked so hard to earn. And just like that, it was gone all over Jesus' feet. Now, would you do that for just anybody's feet? I sure wouldn't. But Jesus is totally different from me or from you. He is worthy of all of our good things. That's why what the woman did was so good and so right. We'll pick back up tomorrow to see what the very important people and the leaders are going to do. I'll give you a hint. It's kind of sad. But the story ends pretty happy, so it's okay. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! This is why technically we should have a script, and I just wing it and shoot 8,000 clips. <laughs> Rusty, do you need to go out? He's just sitting at the door. This is Rusty. He's a pathetic old man dog. But he's a pretty good friend. Alright, I guess I should take him outside.